What I realize is Kamala is struggling with the male vote. I'm talking about biological men. She is struggling with not only just white men, black men, I even believe gay men as well because after the ad that I just saw, I'm going to show you guys. This is it's quite hilarious. And then Barack Obama had to, you know, talk to the brothers and get the brothers back in line. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't know who she trying to attract with this video. I ain't gonna lie. I don't know. Because it's kind of, it's like, mm, it's sweet. It's sweet. I don't know who she trying to attract, but it's sweet. <laughs> Watch it for yourself. And let me know your thoughts because, uh, yeah, you can smell the desperation and I love it. Trump fans, 2024. I'm a man. I'm a man. I'm a man, man. And I'm man enough. I'm man enough to enjoy a barrel-proof bourbon. Eat. Man enough to cook my steak rare. Man enough to deadlift 500 and braid it out of my daughter's hair. You think I'm afraid to rebuild a carburetor? I eat carburetors for breakfast. I ain't afraid of bears. That's what bear hugs are for. And I'll tell you another thing I sure as shit am not afraid of. Women. I'm not afraid of women. I'm not afraid of women. They want to control their bodies? I say go for it. They want to use IVF to start a family? I'm not afraid of families. They want to be childless cat ladies? Have all the cats you want. Woman wants to be president? Well, I hope she has the guts to look me right in the eye and accept my full-throated endorsement. Because I'm man enough to support women. Man enough to know what kind of donuts I like. Man enough to admit I'm lost, even when I refuse to ask for direction. Man enough to not ban young women from reading little women. Or one of those pants books that the sisters like. I'm man enough to raw dog a flight. It sucked. Not worth it. I'm man enough to be emotional in front of my wife. In front of my kids. In front of my horse. I'm man enough to tell you that I cry at Love Actually. Goodwill Hunting. West Side Story. That and Brennan. And I'm sick of so-called men domineering, belittling, and controlling women just so they can feel more power. That's not how my mama raised me. I love women. I love women who support their families. Women who decide not to have families. Women who take charge. And I'm man enough to help them win. Yeah, I don't know. That was real cringe. Is she trying to say just because most black men aren't voting for her that we ain't man enough? Oh, wow. Remember this? I'm running for attorney general because I will never be afraid to challenge this illegitimate president. I believe that the president of these United States can be indicted for criminal offenses. We would join with law enforcement and other attorneys general across this nation and removing this president from office. Well, it's all about to fall apart. Defendants repeatedly violated- Ms. Vail, can you identify any previous case in which the attorney general sued under executive law 6312 to upset a private business transaction that was between equally sophisticated partners? I mean, you've got two really sophisticated parties in which no one lost any money. Every case that you cite involved where there was damage to consumers, damage to the marketplace. You've got a, a scheme to get unsophisticated consumers to take out home loans. You've got a collapse of Lehman Brothers. You don't have anything like that here. And that's, that's something you must address because there has to be some limitation on what the Attorney General can do in inter interfering in these private uh, transactions, as Justice Friedman said, that where people don't claim. After hiding Harris all fall, Democrats watched her numbers drop. It was time to change strategy. Obama ordered Kamala to do an immediate blitz. But Harris couldn't handle the pressure. She couldn't even survive the view. If anything, would you have done something differently than President Biden during the past four years? Uh, there is not a thing that comes to mind in terms of, and I've been a part of, of, of most of the decisions that have had impact. This was the one excuse she had for not solving problems for four years. Hey, you know, I was only VP. I don't call the shots. This was her one saving grace that let people think maybe she's not Joe Biden. Maybe she can be different. Maybe she can bring change. And she just went on The View and said, I'm Joe Biden. I wouldn't have done anything differently the last four years. At the debate, she declared, I'm not Joe Biden. And today she says she is. She even flip-flopped on whether she's Joe Biden. Afghanistan wouldn't have done anything differently. Inflation, the border, 
If she had to go back and do it over, she would have done everything the same. If she had a time machine, she'd hurt the country all over again. She has no regrets. She must really hate you. Joe Biden was so unpopular, he got whacked by Democrats, and she learned nothing from that. Well, it's not hard to see that even if she becomes president, she ain't going to be the one calling the shots, just like Joe Biden wasn't calling the shots. Why do you think Obama had to step up and say what he had to say? Because he's losing control. He's been in control since he's been out of office. Neither one of the presidents after him, outside of Donald Trump, I'm just saying that's on his administration, that's been a part of his administration, they don't speak well, if you notice. These in the crowd or local police department? There are a number of reports of when those times were made. Was it five minutes before the first shot rang out? No. Generally speaking, was it 10 minutes before the first shot rang out? No. It was, was it 15 minutes before the first shot rang out? It was less than that time frame when the f it was identified as a threat. How many days before the shooting took place did Secret Service actually do their advance work to secure the facility that the rally was going to be held at? Five days. In the five days prior, when the, when the security uh, advance team did their work, did they, that, that they, did they identify the rooftop as a potential threat? Again, I'm pulling those reports and that information. It's been nine days, Madam Director. Did they know that, did they notice a rooftop 150 yards away that was a potential threat, yes or no? I am certain that the rooftop was noticed. I am pulling the reports. What was the security or the security parameters around securing that rooftop? There what was, did they do? There was overwatch provided for that rooftop. Did overwatch fail? I am waiting to hear what the results of the investigation were so that I can identify where the failure was. Who did you talk to that was on the ground that day that was responsible for Overwatch? What are their names? I'm not gonna provide their names in this setting. Did you talk to the people that were providing Overwatch that day? I've talked to the people that conducted the advance on that day and that were working the shift and were the counter snipers on that day. So you talked to the counter sniper team. You talked to the people who were providing Overwatch that day, and you talked to the advance team, correct? Yes, sir. What did they tell you? We are putting together a comprehensive report so that these in the crowd or local police department. In the next 60 seconds, I'm going to share with you three things you need to know about all political polls so you can tell which one of these two is really in the lead. Number one. Be very careful about any poll that comes from a major media company because these are less polls and more, how shall we say, propaganda. These media companies have particular audiences and they are trying to create content that they know that audience is gonna like. So if they present a poll that that audience doesn't like, that means they're gonna turn off the TV and these folks don't want that. You're not gonna get accurate data from these guys. Number two, national polling always favors Democrats. Democrats answer the phone, Democrats are honest, Republicans don't trust people who call them up and ask about their politics. It's a whole thing. Which means if you see that Donald Trump and Kamala Harris are locked in a dead heat, Donald Trump is actually ahead because more Democrats answer these polls. What that actually means is that Democrats are telling pollsters they're gonna vote for Donald Trump. Bad news for Kamala. Number three, and probably the most important thing is, state polls are the ones that really matter. Because we have the handy dandy electoral college and we don't choose our presidents based on the national popular vote, you really gotta look at the state polls, and in particular, these three state polls. But you've also gotta understand the historical inaccuracy of these three state polls. For example, in Pennsylvania, Donald Trump has 50% of the vote, Kamala Harris has 50% of the vote. But historically, in 2016, Hillary Clinton was projected to win Pennsylvania by like five percentage points, and Donald Trump won it by one, which means there's a six percentage point differentiation, which you can throw onto Donald Trump's side, which means he's actually winning Pennsylvania 56% to 44%. Bad news again for Kamala Harris. But in my humble opinion, if you really want to know how things are going, don't look at the polls. Look at how the candidates act. Have they changed their behavior in any way, shape, or form? Donald Trump has been going out to rallies every single week saying the same exact thing, wearing the same exact red hat for years. Nothing's changed. He's doing okay. 
Kamala Harris used to avoid the press, avoid the media. She never did any interviews. And then all of a sudden, she's doing interviews. Stephen Colbert, Howard Stern, she was on The View, CBS. She's drastically changed her behavior, which means she's trying to make a change in the polls. I don't know if she's looked at the calendar lately, but TikTok. And see, and that's the thing, man. Ain't a lot of people you can trust when it comes to polling, man. But it's this one person, well, this one platform on X, you know, formerly known as Twitter. Hey, they go by the name of Rasmussen. I obliterate names. I obliterate names. So it's Rasmussen or Rasmussen Report. You can go there and get your polling, man. And from what I've been seeing, that platform has been pretty accurate. So yeah, it's a lot of places that you can't trust, man. But I don't look at, I don't look at TV networks anymore. Uh, you know, after finding out what I found out. So yeah, so the guys is right. But you can go to that one, and it's a couple of more on X too that you can follow too. But that is the main one that I follow. So y'all go check that out. Would you rather have the black president or the white president who got 1.7 billion off the price? I think they want the white guy right now. You know what? And that's the thing about my people, man, my black people. We, 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 every time we hear him say something about black people, we say it's racist because he's saying it. And I think it's mainly because it's coming from him. But we got to learn to stop taking things in that manner because he's just saying the word. I mean, that's what you are. You're a black person, right? Just like he's a white person. He just said that I think that they will want the white guy who got, you know, such and such off the price, right? The white guy, the black guy, the white guy. There was nothing racist about that. It's like, I don't know, man. How do you expect white people to identify you? Now, if you say the N-word with the R-E-R, -R, then I'm going to have to deal with you. But he's never said that. Donald Trump just announced a policy that would ensure Americans pay less in taxes. I'm going to show you the video of what exactly he said. And then we'll go through if this is possible, number one, and number two, what it would do and how much money it would actually save you. This is what you've been waiting for, because today I am also announcing that as part of our tax cuts, we will make interest on car loans fully deductible. And we'll talk about exactly how that works here in a second, but he didn't just stop with that tax. He also talked about another one. He wants to end double taxation for foreign living American citizens. So if you've been living in another country and earning money in that country, say Italy, you're paying Italy's taxes, but also being an American citizen, you have to pay the US's taxes as well. So what he's basically saying is, if you live in Italy, you pay Italy's taxes, you don't have to pay America's taxes. And you can see that 4.4 million U.S. citizens currently live in a different country and are paying double tax. And they've been advocating for the U.S. to switch to a residence-based tax system, which would allow them to pay taxes only to the country they're living and earning their income. Many other countries use this resident-based tax system. But let's talk about this deducting auto loan interest on your income and what it would actually look like. So in business, how it works is if you own a vehicle that is used for business purposes, you essentially get to write off some, if not all, of that car, depending on certain criteria. What this would essentially do is make it so even if you don't own a business, you would now get to write off the interest from that auto loan on your personal income taxes. So the example is, let's say you're making $100,000 a year and your interest payments on your vehicle are we'll just say five thousand dollars a year essentially rather than getting taxed at a hundred thousand dollars your income now gets taxed at a ninety five thousand dollars so you're going to be saving some money on taxes is it a crazy amount of money depends on how much interest you're actually paying on the vehicle but any money that goes back into your pocket and not in uncle sam's pocket is always a better thing and could he actually do this well he could it would definitely take some legislation and it would definitely have to pass, but Texas already does something like this. So we know that if Texas has done it and they've had success with it, it's possible that the United States could implement it and they would see similar results. But tell me what you guys think. Do you think that this is a good idea and do you think he can actually do it or do you think he's just campaigning for votes right now? He could be campaigning for votes. 
I, I will say that because I mean, at the end of the day, a campaign is to be strategic, right? But let's just say he did do this, right? Or attempt to once he, you know, takes office. It's going to take some legislation and they're going to fight him on that because you're allowing more money to stay into the people's pocket. We all know that the G word don't want that, but it's the fact that he presents it, that he wants that for the people. That's what you got to look at. Not everything that he uh, that he presents is going to pass. I mean, it's just what it is. We know this. But the fact that he wants this for the people tells you what type of president you're dealing with. I hope your family is okay and your home is okay. Maria Dolores talked about COVID, the COVID test during the height of COVID. And her and all these accents, man, I don't know who she trying to reach, but we can definitely tell that the Hispanic community is her favorite. And that's probably the reason why she's led so many of them in the country. Nothing against Hispanic people. Because if you if you're rightfully over here and you got your paperwork, that's a whole nother different thing. Do you support gay marriage? No. Barack Obama nor I support redefining from a from a civil side what constitutes marriage. I believe that marriage uh, is the union between a man and a woman. I believe that marriage is not just a bond, but a sacred bond between a man and a woman. No. I'm all for guys that like men, but I'm, it's just not my thing. Right. Um, you really I like never really understood that. What? Guys that like guys. Well, I, I think well, it's terrific if they're really into it. But, you know, and if I were into it, I'd be into it. But I like women. That's my definite preference. I, <laughs> now, which one? I will do everything in my power to protect our LGBTQ citizens. So if Caitlyn Jenner were to walk into Trump Tower, and want to use the bathroom, you would be fine with her using any bathroom she chooses. That is correct. Let that be a lesson to the LGBTQ people, to my LGBTQ friends. Y'all see that? They have painted this man in the light that made them made you say he doesn't like y'all or he's planning to get rid of y'all. And that couldn't be further from the truth. It's already been proven that he's not a part of Project 2025, so y'all can throw that out the window. And your girl... Your girl that you're fighting for, she was endorsed by one of the head people who was a part of writing and creating Project 2025. Got to do your due diligence, man. Got to do your research. Okay, I do not know what's going on right now. I heard a noise. I come outside. There's sirens blaring, and I see this huge trail in the sky. It's midnight right now. And there's this huge trail, like something crash landed. What the heck is that? What is this? I wonder if there's anything on the news about this. I don't know, man. I've never seen a meteor strike. I've never seen a meteor ever in my life. But if I had to guess that a plane that's crashing i don't think it would like leave a cloud of smoke like that a trail of smoke that long that's standing that long that that trail of smoke has to be made of something foreign from this this earth right from this planet so yeah i think it probably was like a meteor or, or a comet or something i don't know maybe i'm getting the words mixed up but hell i think that's what it was Vote for Trump. I, I, I love Trump. Um, yeah. Yeah. Are you crazy? I'm gonna give it to you in this sense, right? Besides him being from New York, mm. being a New Yorker, understanding another New York nigga's mentality, right? One. Besides that, he let niggas out of jail. I know five niggas that my man Law. Shout my new Law. He has seven years left. Seven. He in a box. He in a box. He say he in a box. His counselor, they bring his counselor and their counselor like say, yo, you go home with him. He like, yo, stop playing with me. Stop playing with me. He like, no, you go home with him. We process you. Thank Trump. And I know many other niggas. He like niggas out of jail. These niggas, niggas letting in, got niggas in jail for three years. Yeah, 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 yeah. And you do that, um. Both of them, we strike lows, they shit, they hung their head on. Yeah. Niggas that put niggas in jail for life. Niggas. Yeah. So yeah, that's what I'm saying, man. 
Trump did a lot for the black community that people don't acknowledge. And it's mostly black people who haven't been through anything. You know, you it's black people that been to jail for trying to feed their family. And I'm not making any excuses for what we do. But, you know, given the circumstances and the things that most of us were provided in our uh, living situations, you have to do what you have to do to feed your family. This doesn't make that black person a bad person. Now, if they just out here shooting and killing, then hell to hell with them. Send them to jail. I agree with that. But most black people who are locked up, they're not locked up for violent crimes. They locked up for probably selling drugs or something like that. So when they see black people, they be like, oh, he's a troublemaker. Oh, he's this and that without looking at the start. Look at the beginning of this young black man's life. And then you'll see why he did what he did. It ain't like we grow up and glorify oh yeah i'm gonna be this and i'm gonna be that it's not like that where we from it's not like that it's definitely the circumstances and the situations because when you have no choice you have to do what you have to do it's the tv that's glorifying and making it look cool now they're taking the lifestyles of people who actually live like this and putting it on tv and making kids glorified if you go to the real drug dealers in the neighborhood and you ask them do they agree with the stuff that they see on tv they'll tell you no most of these drug dealers are men who hustle to get their kids out that neighborhood so their kids won't have to turn to the things that they had to they sacrifice so their children won't have to most black people don't understand why you have you know uh street cats like this that grew up in hard lives voting for drunk a lot of people don't understand it because it's the struggle. They tired of struggling. They tired of actually having to turn to selling drugs to, to make things happen. They need these opportunity zones. They need them. You got to take advantage of it. And that's what they was doing. And people, they getting, he getting people out of jail. Now, granted, these people send themselves back, then help. Trump did what he could for you. You couldn't just keep yourself out of jail, then that's on you. Y'all better stop playing with Barack Obama. You heard what Barry said. I had to listen to that video a couple of times before I gave my reaction. Let me start off by saying this, and I know that we all can agree on what I'm about to say. The only time these people, and when I say these people, I mean politicians, care about what we think about, what we feel about, and what we want to do when it's time to vote for them. Other than that, we don't hear from them. They don't do nothing for us. They don't say nothing to us until it's time for us to vote. And I'm not just talking about Democrats. I'm talking about Democrats and I'm talking about Republicans. Truth of the matter is this, all right? Barack, as a grown man, you can't tell another grown man what the f you can't tell another grown man what to do. You can't do that. I can't tell you what to do. I can't tell you how to vote. I can't tell you what you should do because you black and I'm black. The problem is everybody, everybody, and I'm speaking about everybody, want all of us to think with one brain. It don't go like that. Some people gonna vote Republican. Some people gonna vote Democrat. It is what it is. Do what you feel like doing. But don't come up here talking about, yo, black man. Yo, listen, man, you can't do that. You can't do that. And on top of all that, you ain't nobody father. Who you talking to, your two daughters? What's wrong with you? If you're doing what you're supposed to do, people gonna vote for you. Simple and plain. Vote for who you wanna vote for. Don't try and steer the vote by putting pressure on people you can't put pressure on nobody using aggressive words and terms like you a gangster you ain't no gangster who you talking to who father you is see and that's the thing i think like i said i think his whole entire approach was out of pocket like old boy said and i'm gonna keep it plain and simple you can't make no one vote for somebody just because that's what you doing nah bro nah and let's keep it a buck though neither one of them are black i mean being black is being from America and being raised by parents that are actually from America, right? And a lot of people say black people don't even know where they're from. I know where I'm from. I'm from America. My grandfather from America. His father from America. His father's father's from America. His father's father's from America. And it keeps going back. And there's nothing else in there that says we're from anywhere else. When I hear people say, oh, you need to go back to your country. Dude, I am in my country. What are you talking about? A lot of people think that black men are uneducated. But you can read a bunch of books and you can self-teach yourself a lot of different things and become educated.
used when he was talking about me in particular, but he was talking about us at his rallies. And he spent two separate rallies ranting about Tuesday's interview with Vice President uh, Kamala Harris. Take a look. If anything, would you have done something differently than President Biden during the past four years? Uh, there is not a thing that comes to mind in terms of, and I've been a part of, of, of most of the decisions that have had impact. I think the other one asking the question is dumber than Kamala. So that <laughs> she's a dummy. <laughs> I watched her over the years. That is one dumb, that is one dumb woman. So I watched that stupid view where you have these really. <laughs> he wanted to say that's one dumb B word, but he, he had to catch himself. That's crazy. Dumb people. You know, Whoopi Goldberg said, would you participate in a movie? She made some movie on basketball. This is before the I ran for politics. She said, oh, you're so great. If you ever ran for president, you'd win. Politics can do strange things to demented people. <laughs> now, I've hired Whoopi to work for me as a comedian before this stuff, and a long time ago, He's and I went, and... You know, I'm not particularly shy about what I hear. Her mouth was so foul. She was so filthy, dirty, disgusting. Half the place left. I said I'd never hire again. Well, thank you. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah. That's bullshit. Did it look like Trump was going to say dumb? Yeah. Yo, yeah. <laughs> Let's show. Let's show. Let's show. That dumb woman. I think everybody picks that. Woman. <laughs> okay, all right. Now that's just him in the pauses, though. So oh, funny. bro, that was funny as hell, bro. Well, thank you for watching. <laughs> yeah. As it turns out, I was filthy. <laughs> I was filthy. <laughs> and stand on that fact. <laughs> I have always. <laughs> Sonny, I'm taking the trial. And you knew that when you hired me. A headline, babe, at your <laughs> casino, which I might have continued to play had you not run it into the ground. Exactly. But it does that. You know, listen, how dumb are you? <laughs> you hired me four times. You can go to William Morris and get the, the things because I know you all are going to be looking for it. <laughs> so talk to William Morris. You hired me four times and you didn't know what you were getting? How dumb are you? This is. Oh shit! Oh shit! What the fuck? Oh my god! Oh my fucking god! What? Oh my god! Whoa! Whoa! Oh, shit! What the fuck is going on right now? They fucking Demona up! What the fuck? Look at this shit! Bro, this some next level shit right here. Look at this shit. Whoa. Look how many is coming down. Oh my God. What the fuck? Bro, it's like Independence Day out. Oh shit. What? Whoa! Ain't no way. Ain't no fucking way. Whoa. What the fuck, bro? I don't know. That, that kind of looked like 
some type of uh airstrike or something because they sounded the alarm and then stuff when it started hitting the ground they started exploding and then i seen some some counter missiles going up and, 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 and trying to counter the, the the missiles that were coming in i don't know man that was weird but it definitely ain't no alien invasion I can definitely tell you that. This town of Hanson Municipal Water Tower on High Street has become the talk of the town. He has a right to do it, but at the same point, it's got to be respectful. Paul Riley lives right near the tower. He says he became a little bothered once the town started using their resources Friday night to blur the Trump 2024 image. You shouldn't tie up police and other resources for something like that. We tried to talk to the man who has the projector on his property to display the image. We just wanted to know if we could talk to you about the tower. He shook his head inside the door saying no. Hanson officials say displaying this image violates the town's bylaws and misleads the public to believe this activity is condoned. They do not allow any political endorsements on municipal property, but they do respect free speech rights of all residents. The town says a lot of taxpayer dollars may be spent, including attorney fees and paying workers overtime to turn this spotlight on and off each day. The town says the resident could be fined $100 per day if it continues. Well, I'm going to say this and I'm going to leave it here. I don't know what his goal was with that. <laughs> But if I was a if I was democratic, I'd be pissed. I would be pissed. Like he it's like he made his own Trump Tower, right? So I don't know, man. Y'all get the comments and let me know what y'all think about that. But let me say this, man. The Dems are scrambling. Scrambling real bad, man. I don't know. Uh I I'm praying and I'm still confident about the way the election is gonna go but i'm praying that we don't they don't do no crazy stuff like they did the last time right because i mean voter fraud is still a thing right we got to remember that but they it's they can't do it two times in a row can they like would you want to make something like that that obvious i just don't understand you know like uh, an l is an l right just take that l and keep it pushing but for some reason the dems don't like to lose they get angry. And I don't know if y'all saw the last, well, this most recent interview with Kamala Harris and uh, Fox News. Uh, but uh, yeah, she got angry and stormed out because she couldn't handle the questions. And I'm definitely going to do a video on that, man. But like I said, I'm confident, man. And I think that even though we ain't got but a few days left, it ain't over with. The fight ain't over with. We just have to keep fighting, though. And I think we need to push a little bit harder. That's something everybody can do. You know, I'm doing a little bit of something by, you know, keeping y'all aware of these videos and, and what's going on and what's happening. And uh, and for that, I, I appreciate y'all watching and sharing, man, and keep sharing, too, you know, because the channel is starting to make traction again. We're almost at 7,200 subscribers. So uh, that's a good thing. And, uh, and it's all because of y'all. It's because y'all share. And, and, and y'all talk about these things y'all talk about the channel and y'all bringing people here so i appreciate that man salute to all of y'all but uh i'm confident and uh if you confident you know get in the comments and let me know we shall see this november what happens right and hey i can rant all day but i won't and with that being said do what you will with that information and hey if you like what you saw make sure you like comment subscribe Turn on that notification bell so you know when I upload. Get in the description. Follow all of my social medias. And remember, challenge the argument and not the person. And if you want to see more dope videos like this, click the video right there.